Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laureen. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, especially if you are a new mom or mom-to-be or mom-to-be to a little girl for the first time, come on in, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on this awesome nursery tour. This video has been overdue. My baby girl is actually eight months old today and I'm just now getting around to making a nursery tour. So <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys around and show you her room. What? Is that you? Is that you? Now before we jump into the tour, I do want to mention that I'm going to try to link as much as I can in the description box. However, a lot of the things and the items that you'll see were gifts mm -hmm. by my amazing mother-in-law she was a huge support in helping us put together this nursery mm -hmm. I mean there was times where I was like I didn't I don't know what I need I don't know what the room needs so she was great mm -hmm. about that and mm -hmm. if there's anything that you guys see and you really really want to know where it was from just let me know in the comment section and I will try to get with her and mm -hmm. see where she got it from but there was a lot of shopping going on but without further ado, let's just jump right into the tour. Okay, so here is the view when entering her room. This is what her entrance looks like. Starting off most important thing I would probably say is this clock. I did not think that having a clock would be so important. If you are a breastfeeding mama and you're nursing in the middle of the night, it's nice to keep track of the time and how long you've been in here. I know when my little girl was first born, I would be in here a lot at night and I would just stare at the clock and sometimes an hour or two hours would go by. But <laughs> moving right along, we have these bookshelves, I guess you can say. They're bookshelves and then you can actually rotate them and they could just be nice shelves. You can place things on top. But these came from Amazon. And these books here are books that we received for the baby shower, except for this first one here. This was Daddy's Father's Day gift. So from me and baby. Here we have this shelf and this hamper. This hamper came from Bye Bye Baby. We don't really have a theme, but I guess you can say our theme was the lamb and ivy woodlands line but this hamper was not from that particular line this uh, shelf here came from amazon and i just kind of wanted another extra shelf just to put all her knickknacks and stuff so down there i have all her bows and hats and then just some extra um lovey security blankets some cards that she received and here we have this Fisher Price Soother. Um, so it makes sound, it lights. This one is really nice. We use this religiously. We use it every nap, every bedtime. It's really nice to have. And then we have the Grow Egg Thermometer. So as you can see, this room is way too hot right now. But it's nice because it'll tell us the temperature so I could turn right now. It's summertime so I can I know to turn the air down. And in the winter I know to turn the heat up. And then this cover actually comes separate. So I bought this cover separately. This globe came from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I was actually there not too long ago and I saw that they still have some and I bought that exactly a year ago. This cute little doll was a gift from her auntie. This diaper holder, I guess you would call this, is from the Woodland, the Lamb and Ivy Woodland line. And I don't really actually really use this. I just like it as a decor piece. So, <laughs> but I don't really use it to like get my diapers out of. We have these cute picture frames um on canvas these came from grandma so i'm not sure where these came from then we have this section here this three tier cart actually came from at home 
but I know I've seen them everywhere. I mean, Target has them. Bye Bye Baby has them. I'm trying to think. I think Ikea even has them. So you can pretty much get this three-tier cart from anywhere. And I just keep her diapers on the top, her lotions. Down here were her mittens from when she was an infant. Um, she obviously doesn't need mittens anymore, but I just left them on there for you guys just to give you an idea because it's it was really nice to have them handy, especially in the winter when she was born. And then just some more knickknack stuff, um, thermometer, the whole baby Frida line, the diaper pail extra bags. Now this diaper pail, I don't know if I necessarily recommend it. Um, it's by Arm & Hammer and it's crazy because it got tons of great reviews, but when you step on it, the lid comes up and doesn't go back down on its own. So you're forced to close it on your own, which I don't like. And then also, you have to shove the diapers in there, which can be gross if you have a really bad poopy diaper. So, not sure if I would recommend this one. It does keep any odors in really well, so that's a plus. But as far as practicality, mm, not the greatest. I would look for something else. I have this little fan here for her because as you saw on the thermometer, this room tends to get a little hot. And even though she has a ceiling fan, I prefer this one in the corner just because I feel like the ceiling fan kind of blows too much air on her. And I don't know, I just worry about her getting sick. Now we have her changing table area. Um, this is actually a dresser, not a changing table. I didn't want your traditional changing table just because I knew I would want to have a dresser in the room and end up using the dresser later on. Um, I'm going to check to see if this is still available. This was on my registry and I know when I put it on my registry, I got a notification that this item was going to be discontinued. So my mother-in-law hurried up and purchased it. So not sure if it's still available. I will double check for you guys. This topper here also came from Target. Once she's older and doesn't need to have a changing table, this topper can come off and go away and it'll just be a dresser and she can have a TV or whatever. I don't know, I don't really know. This pad also came from Target, I believe, either Target or Bye Bye Baby. And this, I guess, changing pad cover was also another target registry item here in this section we have her diaper rash creams i like using vaseline some more lotion this thing is pretty nice this i actually had purchased to have in her diaper bag but then covid kind of took over and we weren't going anywhere for a while so it's just up here for now um, now this item is one that I highly, highly recommend is the wipes heater. I know this thing was kind of like hit or miss when it came to reviews. Not a lot of people recommended it, but I love it. It has been a lifesaver. I mean, she hated a cold wipe and it's really nice. I know some reviews said that it would dry out the wipes or burn them or turn them yellow. I haven't had any issues and I leave it plugged in. Definitely recommend it. Now this lamp here is from the Lamp and Ivy Woodland line. This was a gift by grandma. This we use a lot at night when we're getting ready for bedtime. We just turn on the lamp to kind of calm her down. We don't want to use the lighting in the room. So that's really nice. For the display over her changing table, let me step back so you guys can get a good view. So her name and the flowers over her changing table. Her name, this was a gift from grandma. 
The flowers came from Hobby Lobby. So I'm not too sure where the name came from. Up next, we have the glider set. This was on my registry and I'm really happy with it. I actually I use it a lot. I use this every night. We read her her bedtime stories and give her a bottle right before bedtime. So this is definitely nice. And it has little pockets on the side. So if you are nursing, breastfeeding, and you can stick your phone in there or your water bottle, whatever items you have. If you don't have like a table right next to you. So this glider is highly recommended now these curtains came from ikea and i love them so much i actually have them all around the house and in other rooms um the curtain rod there let me get closer this curtain rod came from amazon it's just a simple nursery curtain rod i didn't want anything too big or bulky in here i just wanted to keep things simple now this nightstand is also from Amazon and this is just so cute. I absolutely loved it once it came in and we put it together. It's like the perfect nursery nightstand. You can put books down there like I have or other items. These jars here are also another grandma gift. Um, as you can see, one says goals so we can write our goals on these little cards and stick them in there for keepsake and then over here we have one that says memories and same thing we can write little memories like her first steps or whatever and keep them in this jar for keepsake this little doll was a random target find i don't even know if it's an owl or what we have this cool humidifier this was on my registry i definitely recommend i used it a lot when she was a newborn when she slept in the bedroom with us just because our bedroom was a little bit more on the dry side. So we had this going every night. Um, now moving along to her crib setup. This is the Lamb and Ivy Woodland line. Um, now I know you're all gonna have something to say about the bumpers but as you can see i have them really really low so don't come for me but we have the mobile i actually don't use this at night i more so use it during the day when i just need to set her in the crib and run and go swap out the laundry or something she, she likes to play with it more than anything this is her merlin if your baby's a little bit older, I would recommend the Merlin for sleeping in. She sleeps in this for her naps and bedtime. This rocking elephant was also another gift from grandma. And it's really cute because it has her name engraved in it. And then these little guys, these stuffed animals are all from the woodland lamb and ivy line i believe those two may not be but the rest are and then this stencil on the wall is also a lamb and ivy woodland stencil <laughs> as you can see they're kind of leaning we we messed up on that one don't judge us for our baby monitor we have the Nanit and it's really nice. So if you're looking for a baby monitor, I would recommend this one. I was a little iffy about it at first because it did not come with a separate like baby monitor camera. It's all through apps on your phone or your iPad. Um, but it actually ended up being really nice because sometimes when I'm out grocery shopping, I can check in on her if when I leave her home with my husband. And then coming to this little picture here, I guess you can kind of say the room has an owl theme too. I really liked owls growing up and I kind of wanted to pass that down onto my daughter. I don't know if she's gonna like them as much as I did, but this was my painting that I had. I was able to hold on to it and keep it in somewhat 
good shape so we put it in her room for her this was actually found at Meyer. so Meyer is a midwest thing a midwest grocery store and then we have this mat which is really nice and thick this is more of a play mat but we use it in her room and it just kind of brings together her little animals slash owl theme so for her closet she probably has the nicer closet of the other bedrooms so here is her closet with all her other outfits that she never got to wear because of covid and she's kind of outgrown now her shoes more outfits over there just extra stuff all these clothes diapers i know she's going to appreciate this closet when she's older she has so much space <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for my baby girl's nursery tour. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be sure to get to them all. Please make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you'll be the first to watch all of my future videos. And thanks for watching. Until next time, bye guys.